All right, so I'm gonna be doing um, a little darker background and I'm gonna be painting just the same thing I did with the, um, the vegetables, how I um, laid down that first, kind of got the paper wet and then I paint and I put water around my white areas, like the little white onions. So I'm gonna do the same kind of thing for these flowers, for these white flowers. I'm just kind of soften some of this pencil lines here. Um, and that's gonna help me with the background of making these flowers pop. Using my big brush, again, start at the edge and just kind of Go around the flowers. Just trying to be sort of precise or as precise as I can actually get, which is not very precise at all. So. So I got these flowers here. So I, again, I put water around my white flowers and going all the way to the bottom. And what I want to do is want to, with this 100% rag paper, you want to give it a little bit of time to absorb a little bit. And you want it to, you want it to not necessarily be drippy. You want it to be kind of glistening, but not drippy. You know, not too much water. So it's just, you see it just dripping down, right? Give it a little time to absorb there. At this point, the background, what I like to do is to clean my palette on my background. So I'm going to just grab a bunch of colors, some reds, some greens, and some sepias, some blues. So I'm just cleaning my palette. Perfect. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead. Oh, that's really ugly. <laughs> which is fine yeah which is fine so again we'll grab some red put some red in here so notice how it's just kind of softening up and then maybe grab some purple purple color more mixing area. <laughs> purple here, purple there. Purple every. Yeah, exactly. The yellows are going to be the key to this. But what I can do is put some 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 blue here, right? And then grab some yellows. I'll put them right on here these areas here and you're thinking ahead because of the um, green leaves correct correct was it in this class i started cleaning my brush on my on my shorts <laughs> Was it this class? Yeah. You remember? I think it's pretty much every class. Right, right. So yeah. I, I had a kind of a hard problem trying to get those stains out of my shorts last. So I figured out to stop <laughs> showing off this week and not do it. Luckily for me, I do my own laundry, so I can only yell at myself. Mine and my daughter's laundry, pretty much. All right. So again, just making a whole bunch of different textures and um, I'm gonna put like a pur this little purple down here, just. Yeah. What I'm gonna do now is kind of lift up let it sit a little bit. See, at least you can move it around. Little pools. I'm gonna go a little darker in some of these areas. Like a nice, the, the sepia and a nice French ultramarine blue make a nice, I call it complex black. It's a black color, but just those two values. And I can warm it up and cool it down. Let me just put a couple darker around here. And notice the paper's still wet. Right, that's a nice thing about using 100% rag paper is that it stays wet longer. A little bit here. 
here. Maybe a little bit on this edge here, maybe a little bit here. Maybe a little bit here. A lot of control I have right now. <clears throat> I am the paper whisperer. <laughs> so again, some darker values. And I know that they're going to soften up. So that's why I'm just kind of putting them in here. And this one I'm talking about the soft edges next to the hard edges. Little thing here. I like this nice red over here. So I think I'm gonna bring some more of that nice red. Very thirsty brush. A little, a little red over here, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Talk to your painting, he likes it. It really does. Over here. Oh, yeah. Remember that oil painter on the television? He used to. Oh, to yeah, Bob Ross? Ross? Yes. Oh, I love Bob Happy Ross. Little Happy Little Tree. Yes, tree. he used to talk to us. <laughs> he was good. Mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot from Bob. Bob's a man. <laughs> he was the um, Okay, so. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to soften, I'm going to get some of this water. It's going, to dry, it's, going to, it's going to lighten up a little bit. I'm going to dry, so I'm going to just grab a little bit and soften some of these edges in here. Just a clean brush. Just so I can have, so not so many hard edges. Right? Just kind of push into my subject a little bit. Okay. What I can also do is lift up. Um, some here, some of these highlights. It's a thirsty brush, and it's not going to go. It's not going to. It's not really going to go to white, but you just want it to just lift up some, some of that. Oh, well, there goes that. All right. Pick up some of these stems here. some flower. I can just kind of again pick up some flower shapes to help balance out some of that white area. Right, and it's still wet so I can st so it's still kind of very um, it's going to give me a soft little little petal shape. So I think we have some sense of light right there. Some light here. Some white here. And you, I can kind of tell how, see how it's not, it's, not, it's kind of getting, the, it's going to kind of look a little dull over here. Mm -hmm. The shininess is gone. That's starting to dry out, so I, I don't want to go into that too much anymore. I can lift up, make sure you have no water in your brush, but you don't want to start um, lifting up with, with some water on your brush because what's happening is you're going to get those blooms. Um, what I could do if I want some texture, um, I can grab some of my pigment, like yellow, but less water. So if you have more pigment on your brush, um, it's not going to... It's not gonna. It's not gonna push back as much. Just gonna put some textures in here, just to help alleviate some of those little areas I might have issues with later. And I can play off those. Yeah, but I, I let it dry a little bit, right? Once it starts getting a little bit, um, not as not as shiny, a little bit duller. I laid that down, so see how um, I use more pigment in here, so you see more of the yellow versus a lot of water than you would see a little clear area and you'd actually see a big bloom area. So again, I'm just lifting up some areas still. Maybe I'll just kind of do a little, a little bit here. All right, 
So that is my first wash. I went dark, right? Just on the background, and then I'll put some some leaves, some more green leaves back here. But it's it's gonna look very similar to this. This value here is gonna look very similar to this. And then this is gonna look very similar to this. It's gonna lighten up just a tad bit. So don't be afraid to go too dark. I mean, don't go so dark that it's just like a black hole. But you really want to get these little areas of, of reds, of yellows, or reds, blues, you know, dark values here. Um, so we can punch up those white flowers. Is that your only opportunity to get the background with um, the darks? Or no, you can layer. You can layer again. You can layer it again. The thing is, if um, will it give you a harder edge? Because you're no. Well, if you want to do it again, then you can blow dry it completely dry or let it, the nice thing about this is you want it to dry naturally because, um, or let it a good 15, about 10 minutes or so for it to dry naturally because these colors are still mixing. They're still, they're so drying. They're still kind of forming these beautiful little, um, little purples and reds and dark values here. Once you blow dry it, it stops it. So once you blow dry it, then, then you can, you can add some more darker areas. The problem is that if you start painting your, your flowers in your, in your, um, your mason jar, um, and you go, well, I wanna, I wanna do a little darker, you can do a couple of darker areas around it and just soften it up. But if you wanna do the whole thing again, more darker than I would do that before you start painting your, your main subject because then you have less things to go around. Because the nice thing about this technique is you get these nice soft edges. You know, pretty much <clears throat> right now, 50% of the painting is done. All I gotta do is put some harder edges on here and it's done. You know, so that's the nice thing about this technique. You know, if you have, you know, you get most of it done. All right, so. No. Not sure, I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my, um, with my greens, um, just because I want to frame some of my flowers, um, give me a better idea how to attack this thing. So I guess you can get closer, you can get three, <laughs> not that close. Um, can you describe that a little bit more? Jay, can you unpack that, like why you're going to choose the green to bring shape to it? Because um, uh, I want to, I want to make sure that I attach um, the the flowers to the vase or to my mason jar so if i just start painting the flowers um uh, i haven't really done the hard work of figuring out um you know where how they're attaching making sure that each one of these flowers comes down has a stem coming down to the jar so those are the main things i'm really looking forward to yeah it gives it a you know because the worst thing you do is start painting and the next thing you just start doing this and next thing you know you notice this one's fl floating you know you're like hey, where does that come from and it's like, oh. so you know and it, it it can work either way you know really and it's really up to you but i think that's just how i you know i want to work on those larger shapes first so and again i'm just mixing some some my yellow up in here My blue, some blues right here. My blue, so I have all these kinds of different greens that I'm creating. And then my sap green right here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this. Yellow. So. Bigger leaves. So you don't even drop in the leaves, you just uh, paint the, them in. They were there. They were? They were there, but yeah, I just kind of paint, yeah, I just paint them in. I mean, they're, they're just, just to keep my, keep me from um, just for the composition, why, uh, for composition, because I know that um, once I go put paint on top of it, I'm gonna lose a lot of the lines, um, which is fine. So, 
And will there be step three with this painting? Uh, pr oh, yes, pro okay. probably, yeah. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my sepia. Maybe some red. Make some brown. Notice I'm just kind of mixing. I'm just doing mixing those colors in there. Your control with that brush, holding it that way, is amazing. Um, is that a natural sable one? Yeah, it's a natural sable. But any any brush, I just nice and loose. Um, and again, at this point, it's like an abstract. I'm not trying to. Um, I'm not trying to paint anything in general, other than just these little textures here, looking at the negative shapes, looking at... Um, they get distorted in class. Yeah. So at this point, it's just going to soften some of these edges. Alright, good. You gotta give yourself good positive vibes. Even if it's not doing good, you're like, good, good, <laughs> good. Just keep that positivity going. Now, I'm not trying to go too dark yet. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of some blue in here. Wet on wet. all over with the leaves like you're moving around the painting right so I'm but framing I'm framing my subjects just making sure that they're all grounded and they have weight to them and I'm also painting around so I'm so I'm also framing the flower itself the white of the flower I love these little things whatever these things are couple of them there just why not okay so now mm -hmm. I didn't go too dark yet so just a little bit and just little apps little itty bitty things here Okay. You gotta breathe every once in a while. Um, okay, now I'm gonna tackle some of these flowers. That little area here, my blues, my reds. Nice thing about this. Queen coral is as a it goes to a nice pinkish color. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow, put it over here. So I rarely just use this, you know that. Sorry. Bless you. That <laughs> I rarely do just do that sh that same color every single time. Okay, so I think this one, I'm gonna do this one red. So this is the fun part here where I can just kind of play around with those shapes. This is how you paint flowers. This is how I paint flowers. You could do one petal at a time. I'm just creating a shape. A little wet on wet. in there, maybe a little bit of blue. It's almost like it's important to leave some spaces white. Right, no it is, because that's little reflections and light hitting. And, all right, that's good enough. It's good enough for, for my non-flower painting. <laughs> and I still haven't painted a flower, I just painted a shape, okay. Maybe... Yeah, whatever. I don't know. 
I, 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 half the time I really don't know. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Uh, half the time I just, it's, it's just really a battle. It's always just a battle of, of wills. It's like playing chicken, you know? It's like you don't want to give up, you know? I learned that from running a business. You don't want to give up. You, I kind of went down with the ship and that's how you want to do it. The same thing, same way in the ring. I just, you just keep punching till you get knocked out. You go out on your shield. Okay, so that one's done. See that? Done. Now they go, yes, wow. I like the wow. It could be the wow or wow. Really? <laughs> yes, it's done. <laughs> yeah, they, okay, thank you. The clapping does help. All right, so I'm gonna make this one a little bit more of this gray, bluish value. So again, every single flower is gonna be a little bit different. Maybe a little bit of red in here. Dragging the brush. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, and then some yellows and thank you. <laughs> thank you, it does help. <laughs> That's help with the ego. Okay, so. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm gonna let that sit a little bit and I can go a little darker. I'm gonna go into my, um, my paint in the glass now. So I have my softer areas here. Now I'm gonna go with the darker areas, harder shapes. So grab some blue and some sepia to make some of that darker value, but still make it a little bit in that blue, that cool side. Pretty dark, you know, uh, less pigment. Um, less water, more pigment. Damn you English language, okay. Okay, there we go. It has begun. Harder shapes. And just drag the brush sideways. And the nice thing about this is that every single time you go to your palette, the colors do change. So that's, to me, that's nice because then I'm not, that's nice about watercolor. You want your colors, the values to change. Okay, so we have a little grounding element here. Drag some of this here, here. Now notice I'm not outlining it. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna put some red some reflections of, of some flowers, maybe here, there. These are kind of hard right here, so I'm some of these. I'm gonna soften some of these here, a little bit here. Good posture, good posture. Okay, all right, so with a, a little bit of writing or label? Or um, I'm, I'm, I might put that in there um, with, I'll sh yeah, you know what, a good idea. <laughs> I like your style. Let's do that. Let's do that writing. There you go, righty. Mm -hmm. Oh! Start over. <laughs> now, time to paint on the back. Now, um, 
Sometimes a loose style bites me in my butt. But I know a little trick I learned in the Merchant Marines. Jeez. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Ladies, this is pure luck, okay? <laughs> that was pure luck. Sometimes the paint doesn't want to lift up. Sometimes it's... All right. So that's my first... So I'm gonna... Yeah, actually, that's like that in the areas here. Just put some little dots. So I'm also varying the, the, the lines, the lines, you know, little dots here and there. And a lot of times these, you know, it's just, a, you know, I mean, if you try to mimic the way I paint, I mean, some of the techniques is, is fine, but honestly, each paint is going to be a little bit different. If I paint this thing again, it's going to be all a little bit different. I think the thing with me is I, if I tend to go one way with the brush, I stick with it, or you're doing dots and lines and... Right. You know, like you gotta keep moving the brush. Around. Technique. Right. I'm ro I'm always rolling yeah. my brush to get the night to depending on the tip. Right. If I know that my if I know that it's my brush is flat, you know, then I turn it to the side. Okay, good posture. Okay, and then oh. Right. Put some blue. And drag this down. And I'm not trying to mimic that shape, that exact shape. That's one of the things you have to remember. You just create a shape that looks very similar to it. Some red on this side here, because I think I wanted some red. Who am I to say no? Okay. All right, so now this should be dry. Oh, put some green. Yeah, I might just finish this up and just this in this, um, this step, so I apologize. Sometimes it works out. I don't want to put some red, some, making some brown with my red and my a little yellow in there. Oh, put some yellow, good idea. Some yellow in there. All right, so red. So I'm just gonna now punch up some of these. Less less pigment, more water. Less water, more pigment. Thank you. Get her eventually. Um, I'm not going over the work I've already done. Just kind of yeah, layer. layering a little bit, glazing, little shadow areas. Done. Yeah. How do you say that in Spanish? Huh. That is Spanish, isn't it? <laughs> no. I don't know. Listen, I barely know either of the languages, so. All right. What is voila, anyways? What? French, French. See? Clo clo close? It's on the planet Earth, isn't it? It's on the planet Earth, isn't it? All right, see? More, more stuff there. Okay, so me, oh, there you go. That worked, I, I didn't mean to do that, but it, it worked out. So I'll just put some sh little shadow areas. It didn't work out that way, but there we go. Okay, that's fine. Some red areas. And I'm painting a lot quicker just because, you know, I can spend double the time demonstrating these things, but. It's no fun for you, ladies. Where's Henry? Where's the other guy in the class? He only lasted one week, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He, well, he's been. He's been. Yeah, I think he was. At, he was sick last week. So. He drove away. That's, well, that's what All it is. The <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> just ran away, just screaming. <laughs> no. All right. So. Okay, I'll let this dry a little bit. 
and I'll do the next step. So I'll let this dry, and then I'll um, then we'll do one more step. So therefore, you kind of see it um, darker in some of these areas here. So I'm going to accentuate them by going darker in the background to pop those forward. So notice that this is my this is my darkest dark here, all right? Um, and so I'm going to do the same kind of thing, go a little darker over here. So use my flat brush. Um, and again, this one is going to be, I'm recording this, so I think I will, depending on what I say, I didn't say anything to scan like that. No? Not, yet. No. not yet, okay. It is not, you're right, it's not, not done quite yet. So, I'm going to go a little bit really dark, more in that blue value. So again, you're doing sepia and ultramarine? Yeah, and maybe just a little bit of red in there. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now... I'm gonna go back back over with my flat brush. <coughs> Bless you. Maybe a little bit. So my flat brush is kind of And I'm wanting to change that value up. I'm going right over that little detail there. The negative painting. You see how already pushed it out? So you don't have to overwork it. You can um, so less, really less water, more pigment. Mostly I'm going to do it on these flowers here. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to soften this. I did put those little things in there. But So you're going to be using a lot more since it's less water. You're trying to get the same rough value. And I'm not trying to keep it very, make it perfect. That to me, because I can't. So therefore, I don't even bother. And um, some people like Ann Brecken, which is an excellent instructor at Daniel Smith, she really um, excels in really making these beautiful landscapes and and flowers, you know, really taking a lot of time. I, I, I don't. Is she there every Friday? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, every Friday. It's very. I take the warm up so this is hard. Yeah. Because it's. You have to have much more imagination or something. <laughs> it's harder to have less control. Too. Yeah. It's, I think this is hard. It really depends on, like I said, you know, if you're. Um, you know, she's an excellent teacher, so if you more control, I, I suggest checking her out. Um, great lady, great, great teacher. She's been teaching a long time. And 
So she teaches every Friday? I, I yeah, Daniel Smith, yeah. Which one? The one in Bellevue. Yeah. So. Actually, I think she teaches at both. Um, yeah. Fridays is on Bellevue. Fridays is in Bellevue. Do you know if it's like an all day thing? Or I think it's a four four hours, three hours morning and afternoon class, I believe. And you sign up a month at a time? So you sign up for a one month shop. Oh, a whole month. Okay. I think it's four weeks a month. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, she's, you know, we're on the same. We're on the same gang, as we call it. Cause not, you know, another, you know, you gotta find an instructor that that speaks to you, that you're able to really, you know, um, and helps you, you know, that helps you in in what you want to paint. And sometimes it's not that instructor, and that's fine. I don't, I don't take it personally. As long as you're having fun and you kind of reach your goals, that's really what a good instructor should try to help you with. Um, but if I do see you there, I am going to get you know, just joking. <laughs> Traitor. Yeah, right. yeah. How dare you? I'm going to start crying. You don't work on Fridays. Me? No. Yeah. Friday, Fridays are my... We're in the clear. Fridays are my <laughs> Sundays. Yeah. All right. So that's about as much as... Oh, that popped right out there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... Um, now the last thing I'm going to do is grab my white mm -hmm. and so white? yeah watercolor titanium white it's not a supply list I'm just going thick right there use your fingers around a little bit <laughs> well not the thing is, you want to just accentuate some areas. You don't want to get caught up in like trying to do every little little piece of it. So again, just some reflections there, some reflections here. So I use this. I do this a lot. Um, oh, just a little. You know, I put I put it on thick sometimes. I I've always done this. Um, and I never hardly ever taught it, but it's fun sometimes just to go opaque in some areas. Using it straight out of the tube because you won't be able to get it out of the sink if it's dry. Well, out. once yeah, once it dries, it's it's a lot it's a lot harder to use. So I want it thick so I can use my fingers to blend it and and that kind of stuff. Just trying to be free, it's getting tired of me. So I put a little a couple little things in here. Like this. Um, I use if I use watercolor, I use watercolor. Um, so it's just with gouache, it would be a lot flatter. So to me, it's a little different. All right. <laughs> it's weird looking, but that's fine. That's it is what it is. All right, and then last but not least. course I haven't done dots yet so you gotta mm -hmm. get my dots in got my quota oh. yeah. rub it in <laughs> oh, that's a lot of color. rub it in <laughs> maybe some yellow That's nice. Yeah, see, I like that yellow and into that purple because it's a compliment. Oh, last few things here before I forget. I kind of already forgot what I was going to do. All right. Um,
<laughs> this is where you remember. You want to sneak in now. It's missing this. Stop. Okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's ruined. It's done. All right, and then the last but not least. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> the greatest show on earth has ended. Boom, there it is. And so again, when you take it off, it should make it, should make it even better because it gets a nice white border. But, you know, the real exercise is knowing that you can, um, still wet, uh, knowing that you can go darker in the background to punch those flowers forward even more. Without, because I wanted to keep the delicate nature of the, my initial um, wash, right? Because the worst thing you can do is to really overwork your flowers, which I do a lot, and they're kind of overworked, but that's fine. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right, and so. There it is. So that the white, yeah, the white border really does make a difference. All right. Any questions? All right. Go make your masterpieces. <laughs>